Good morning. It's Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Lynch Mob, and our scripture is John's Gospel, Chapter 8. Jesus returned to the Mount of Olives, but early the next morning he was back again at the temple. A crowd soon gathered, and he sat down and taught them. As he was speaking, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd. Teacher, they said to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses says to stone her. What do you say? They were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. They kept demanding an answer, so he stood up again and said, All right, but let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Then he stooped down again and wrote in the dust. When the accusers heard this, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, Where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? No, Lord, she said. And Jesus said, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. The Pharisees, judgmental, aristocratic, and obnoxious, a blight on any religious professional's public image, are always portrayed as the bad guys. They're the loathsome and outraged town folk of any grade B Western movie ready to hang the innocent. The focus on this account is usually the lack of compassion the mob had for the woman, coupled with the forgiveness of Jesus. Rightly so. Less in focus is the complexity of the Pharisees' committee work, looking for a way to trap Jesus into taking sides. He didn't, you know. And, depending on which side you might favor, it might be, she was a sinner and she was about to get what she deserved. Or, Jesus always forgives, don't be a hater. Or, what's the big deal, nobody's perfect. Well, there you go, taking sides. There's plenty of thought from a bystander's perspective to go around. One I hadn't considered before is the makeup of a lynch mob. The mob may appear to be an evil and colossal meteor hurtling towards crowd justice, rolling over whatever has the misfortune to be in its pathway. But groups of people, no matter how large or in charge, are not monolithic in purpose or thought. The Pharisees were no exception. Among them dwelt as many different motives driving their actions as there were individuals. Certainly, because scripture says it plainly, there were those self-righteous leaders hell-bent on destroying Jesus' work or the woman they despised, acting from an evil motive of preserving their power. Some of them had little power and were hoping to accrue some access to the big show, gaining a stake in the power structure by going along with the majority. Undoubtedly, there were some who had their doubts, curious, but not necessarily committed to a lynching. And there were those who were secretly rooting for the underdog. Nicodemus may have been among that lot. And there were some, I'm certain, who were just like some of us, confused, pushed by the crowd, just trying to not be different. For you today, if you found yourself in any of that description of the mob, consider the alternative swimming upstream, resisting, forgiving, being different. It won't ever be easy, but there's never a wrong time to do right. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.